Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I really wanted to look back on 2018 and look back particularly on a video I posted in January all about my goals for 2018. So I thought it would be fun to actually watch the video that I posted and kind of react because I think I had about like four points of like goals that I wanted to touch on this year. So before we jump into my little reaction video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos and if you have it and you'd like to, I hope you will consider subscribing so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So oof, so first off, right off the bat, I can tell my lighting is... I only just recently got lighting, like, okay. I still think there's work to be done, but I just, like, recently learned that, like, you need a light right behind you in order for, like, your background to look decent. You have some accent lights right up here with, like, the string lights. I have three lights now. I still have, like, I really want to get, like, a mini umbrella kit just because of the space and with my slanted ceilings. I can't do a full lighting kit. So that was a big challenge for me in 2018. I don't know if I mentioned it specifically in this video, but... <laughs> both the sound and the lighting quality are not that great. This is actually one of the first like videos I posted like when I decided to actually like commit to this channel. So let's jump in to Monica from a year ago, almost a year ago. And with cut creases they really keep Oh, this is the old opening. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica. I try to put out videos every Monday and Friday based solely on beauty products, beauty reviews, and anything to do with makeup. Today, I really want to get into- I can already tell, like, I'm not even looking, like, at the camera. <laughs> I forgot, I'm pretty sure I had this camera back then, so I don't know if I just wasn't comfortable with it yet. But also, my first goal of the channel was to post consistently, and I, in my head, I was like, Monday and Friday. Just post Monday and Friday. I don't know how long that lasted because I think I eventually really wanted to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That was like my overall goal. And I forgot when I switched to every weekday, but that was really fun. To a, um, not like a wish list, but kind of a beauty bucket list for 2018 along with some channel goals that I have for the year. I got this idea or was inspired for this idea from LS who was in turn inspired from It's Me Hunter. So I'm gonna link both of their channels down below. I absolutely adore LS. She's been one of my biggest inspirations over the past couple of months. And she just introduced me to It's Me Hunter who I'm just about to subscribe to and check out her channel as well. I was so holding I a pen. Split into two I'm like parts. clicking a pen. I think I must be like a nervous the, um, tick or something. The actual beauty things that I wish I could get better at what I really wanna work on in 2018. And the other half are more of the channel oriented things that I really want to work on. So I have my notes right here. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Oh, that's right. That was okay. So when I first started my channel, I had some notebooks. And so I was trying to keep all my ideas in a physical notebook so that I could also like work on them when I was on my way to work, on the way back from work. I stopped that. I now just have a Google Doc. I have a master Google Doc where I have my calendar, I have all my video ideas, I have all my lists. So I keep it in that Google Doc so I can kind of access it wherever I am on my phone, you know, on my laptop. From You know, wherever I am, I can just log into my Google account and get to that document. But I remember I forgot like at first that I had everything in a cute little notebook. So number one on my list of beauty things that I really want to get better at are lashes. I love the way lashes look on me. I think they look beautiful. They really like push every makeup look to the next level. And I've used them a couple of times. They still take me a while to put on. And I'm not at the point where I could definitely wear them like on an everyday basis. So during 2018, I really do want to get a little bit more out of my comfort zone. Um, experiment with more lashes. I do have a couple of pairs that I've been saving to try out. Some from Pure, some from Ardell. Um, so just getting more comfortable with lashes, wearing them, you know, more on an everyday basis is one of my goals for the year. So right off the bat, I didn't really do this. <laughs> Towards the beginning of the year, I did wear some lashes. I went through a few packs of the Ardells. I love the Demi Wispies. I'm trying to think. I did, there was one like higher end pair of lashes that I really liked. Let me grab them. Yeah, I really enjoyed this pair from Velour. These are the silk lashes in, what, what's, what are you? Ah, another shot of Wispy. I like Wispies. So I really liked these. I actually picked up more lashes. Um, I've got a pair from the Sephora collection. I have a pair from House of Lashes. And I've got another pair from Velour. Did I actually wear any of these? No. I really do want 
to keep that in mind and actually like wear these lashes. I did pare down my collection a lot. I used to have a lot more lashes, um, but in my last declutter, I really did get rid of a lot of them because I'm just not reaching for them. I'm definitely better at applying lashes than I was when this video was posted because I did practice. I could actually get a pair on in under 10 minutes, which for me, that was big <laughs> because I was really bad at applying lashes. I found a lash glue that really works for me. It's the House of Lashes clear lash glue. I have a little mini right here. I don't know if this is actually, I think it's probably dried out. No, it's actually still pretty good. But this is the best lash glue that I found. It dries down really fast. It just makes everything easier. I tried using like the Ardell glue and some other drugstore glues and they just didn't work. So I would recommend the House of Lashes glue if you're having trouble, but that's one goal that I kind of skipped over. But I do want to carry that over the 2019 and maybe not like I know there are some people that can wear lashes every day I'm not gonna be one of those people probably never will be but I do want to actually like experiment more with them and get into more like editorial looks a little bit more glam looks because for the most part I'm fine like I'd like finding a mascara that makes it look like I'm wearing falsies more than I like wearing falsies Another goal for 2018 is to get better at the cut crease. Um, since I do have heavily hooded eyes, uh, cut creases can help in opening them up and making them look a little bigger than they actually are. And I just think it looks as My camera just like shifted or something. I forgot if this is before I actually had a tripod and I was like balancing it on something. <laughs> Likely pleasing and it is something that I do want to try to do because I have tried it a couple of times, but honestly it hasn't been up to my standards. And you can really use a cut crease in any kind of look with Ooh, that any was a kind of transition. colors, with any kind of textures. So it is something that I really want to get comfortable with and master over 2018. Now, so cut creases, I think I've definitely gone into this from my own perspective. I haven't gotten better at like a hardcore like concealer cut crease, though I have been practicing that as well. What I've really been liking is doing a cut crease with my glitter glue. So what I do is I apply my glitter glue the same way people would apply the concealer for a cut crease, and then I just apply my lid shade with that. And I really love that shape. You've seen that shape a lot in my tutorials, because for me, I can bring it up above my natural crease right there and it just opens up my eyes so much and I really like it so I've definitely made that like one of my go-to looks in 2018 so in that sense I've succeeded on this goal but I know 2018 January Monica was talking more about the concealer cut crease but I don't think that works great on my eyes I try to minimize the amount of layers that I have to put on my eyes just because they are so hooded and the more layers you have the more likely it is to rub against each other and fall apart and look creasy right but I've I'm glad that I figured out that technique with my glitter glue the NYX glitter glue I use it in almost every video <laughs> but that is something that I was actually able to work on in 2018 and I'm proud of the way that it's come out also something I've done a lot less of is the liner like I used to wear winged liner every day <laughs> it didn't matter what it didn't matter where I was going it didn't matter who I was seeing it didn't matter what I wore winged liner every day <laughs> and now more often than not, I'm either just doing a liner on my lash line or I'm not wearing any. Now, the last beauty related thing that I have on my beauty bucket list for this year is to stop being afraid of lip products. Now, that does sound a little bit silly, but um, I have all these beautiful lip products. If I have my um, lip product declutter up, I'll go ahead and link that below. Below. Or if it's not uploaded yet, Oh, sure Monica didn't know where the cards were. <laughs> But I have all these beautiful lip products. I swatch them, I try them on, and they look great. But I am afraid of wearing them, like either to work or for all day, like all day long, because I keep thinking, like, oh, what happens if it breaks down in the middle of the day? What happens if it doesn't look as great and I'm not able to touch it up? My goal is to stop being afraid of them and just to wear them, because I think they look beautiful. I think they could really help me get out of my comfort zone. And I have all these products that I really want to use and they're just sitting there not being used. So that is my last like beauty goal for 2018. That is something I've definitely succeeded at. I now wear lipstick every day, almost every day that I wear a full face of makeup. And I remember before this video was posted, I used to have, it wasn't as big of a lip collection that I have now, but I definitely had lipsticks, lip glosses, and I was afraid to wear them 
outside the house because I was like, oh, what if it breaks down? What if it does this? What if it does that? You know what? It doesn't matter. <laughs> if I like the lip color, if I think it matches my look, just carry the lipstick with you and touch up if you need to. But that did take practice, so I did have to like build up. <laughs> I would just wear like nude lipsticks to work and I would like constantly be checking and running into the bathroom and being like, does it look okay? Does it look okay? And then I just got used to actually wearing a lipstick. And I think that was the big hurdle. I was getting used to wearing a lip product, which is a big step if you've just like worn chapstick up until the age of like 25. Like it's a big step, but I've definitely gotten over it. I love my lipstick collection. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of wearing for like events or for work or bullet lipsticks because I know they don't last as long as liquid lipstick, li liquid lipsticks, but <laughs> But still, like, I enjoy my lip collection now. I actually wear lipsticks when I do a full face, and that's something I've definitely succeeded at, and I'm, I'm proud of myself for that, because I remember before this video owning lipsticks and then never wearing them. <laughs> and what's the point of that? The rest of these goals are more um, channel-oriented. I did attempt to start this channel back last summer when work was a little less crazy, but in September when work got... Um, I was working like 20 hours of overtime a week. Um, this kind of fell to the wayside. Now this is something that I'm really passionate about, something I really want to commit to. So I am committing to videos every Monday and Friday. The goal would be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I am trying to keep this more realistic, something that I could really um, see myself sticking to more. So I am sticking to Monday and Friday at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So I was when I filmed this, I was still at my last job. My last job was hourly. I was a, a bookstore manager. So it was a university bookstore. So you know, in the beginning of each semester, it's going to be nuts. I was doing a lot of overtime. Um, even during like the rest of the year, I was working a lot. And it, it, I'm definitely grateful for the job that I have now. And this is a position that I actually got in May. So my first day at this new job was May 31st. And this job, it's definitely like it's it's more challenging in other ways, but not as physically or mentally draining <laughs> as working in retail. <laughs> Cuz if you if you've worked retail, you know that's a whole different kind of exhaustion from getting to sit like in my own cubicle at my desk and kind of work. So I'm st I'm still facing challenges and I'm still doing things at my job right now. But it's a whole different playing field from my last job and it's eons better and I'm so grateful. That was one of the best changes I could have ever hoped for in 2018. But that being said, with that kind of schedule, I know that I wasn't able to do the amount of videos that I can now do with my current position um, with a set schedule because the, the, the job that I had before my schedule changed week to week. I could work an opening shift, which was like 7 a.m. to 4 p.m., or I could work a closing shift, which could go as late as 8.30 or 9 p.m. It, it wasn't stable, and the hours were long. So with my fit, like fixed, like 8 to 5 or 8 to 4, 9 to 5 that I have right now, I can work around the schedule and actually get more consistent videos up. So I'm pretty sure it was after I got this new position and figured out my schedule that I was able to stick to five videos a week. So that's another goal that I knocked out of the park because I remember thinking like, I, I really want to do this YouTube thing. I am so passionate and I want this channel to work. So I was con like committing to two videos a week back when my job was draining as all hell. So I think you know, January and Monica would have been so proud of where, you know, December 2018 Monica is. The second channel goal that I really want to stick to is interacting more. Another thing that I've been not afraid of, but something I've been shying away from is commenting on other people's videos and just really interacting with other people on YouTube. Which, thinking about it, it's really stupid considering the fact that YouTube is the platform where anyone can come on, create their own content, and really interact with anyone else on the internet. I always find myself like watching these videos, watching these people that I admire, and like finding things that I want to say or things that I'm like, oh, I want to, I also got that same product, or oh, I also really thought the same thing about this. And I find myself holding back from actually commenting or interacting with people, and I need, I need to get past that because like this is what I'm really into and 
there's like one or two people in my real life that I can actually talk to makeup about. And even then, it's like in passing. Talk to makeup and about. I really want to get yep. to a point where I can talk to other people that are as passionate about makeup and about this as, as I am. So I feel like YouTube is the one place that I can do that. So I need to stop holding myself back from, you know, commenting and interacting and, you know, finding a community where I could actually fit in. Yeah. Yeah, I... I was so shy. I mean, I'm still shy. I'm definitely more introverted. I'm a bit shy. But even like last year, I wouldn't comment on people's videos. I wouldn't really interact when really all I wanted was to be part of the makeup community. I was so... Uh, at that point, I'd been watching videos for years. And I was really into it. I'm like, should I do a channel? I really want to, but I'm nervous and all this and that. And I've made a lot of progress on this too. I've actually met some great friends of mine through YouTube. I've done so many great collabs. I've just, uh, this it's, it, it turned out better than I ever could have imagined. Like, not only do I have some amazing subscribers, we're just over 2,000 subscribers. I never thought I would hit 2,000 subscribers. And I have some amazing friends that I met through here and just, it, it's really everything that I wanted. I found a community where I fit in, where I can talk about obscure makeup things and people actually want to listen. I, I think ultimately like that was my number one goal was that I, I really wanted to not just like look at the community like from the outside and keep watching. I really wanted to be a part of the community. So another, this one isn't really um, related to my channel, but it does tie in. It's getting better at photography. I've always loved taking photos and, um, you know, getting like artsy craftsy with different angles and it's always a running joke in my family that if anything's happening or if we make a, a good looking meal or if we do anything, I'm always the one right there taking a picture of it. And I have been really proud of the way my Instagram has been for the past couple of months and now that I have an actual Canon camera, I really want to just, you know, step it up to the next level. I want to, over the next year, take some amazing photographs on top of that i want to have some amazing experiences but that's more of like a personal kind of 2018 goal but as i go through this year as i go through the summer as i go through the spring i really want to devote more time to taking some more great photos because i've been able to do some great things with just my iphone but now that i have an actual like canon i'm excited for like all the new like options and availability for what i can do with an actual like camera and this is my first, like, real camera. <laughs> so, I'm still getting used to it. I've only had it for a couple of days at this point, but I am really excited about what I can do with it so far. So, about that. I, I had this camera, I was using it for YouTube, and I actually, like, I was afraid to, like, leave the house with it. Because I was like, what if I drop it? What if I break it? What if this? What if that? So I really didn't bring it anywhere with me. But I did still continue taking photos with my iPhone. I did upgrade my iPhone. I have the iPhone 8 now and there's a really great camera on this. So if you take a look at my Instagram, I do have some great pictures on there, but kind of like an adjacent goal that I was really great at this year was just improving my video quality. And you can just see that from like the video to now and just learning about my camera because i said like i thought like getting a camera would be like oh this is great but you have to know how to use a camera <laughs> i didn't figure out that i could change different settings on this camera until weeks ago and it's december there was one day where i managed to accidentally turn the exposure all the way up on my camera and i couldn't film for like a week because i had no idea what was going on i thought my lighting was messed up but I had to Google it and they were like, yeah, just put your exposure down. I was like, what? <laughs> what is that? So I, that is something that I probably could have started a little bit earlier because I did watch a lot of tutorials and like get ready or start blah, 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 or like a quick start guides when it came to this camera, but I didn't really actually get into like settings and actual like learning how to use the camera until recently. And I think I've made like awesome progress just on my regular filming setup. So I'm really happy with that goal. Not only did I keep up with taking some nice pictures from my Instagram, not all of them makeup related, but that's not exactly what I was focusing on, but I was able to also improve my video quality th this much. The last thing that I want to include in this video is kind of a combination of like a channel and a beauty 
goal. I want to get better at doing empties videos. Oh, no, I almost no. forgot about that one. I'm a bit of a neat freak. I don't like having trash around my room. As you can see, my room is pretty much spotless. But I feel like empties are a good way to keep track of what I'm using, what I'm actually liking, and deciding at the end of the day what I've actually liked about each product and what I've not liked about each product. So I do want to designate either like a drawer in my dresser for, or like a little bucket for empties. And I do want to review them at the end of every month if I do have empties at the end of every month. Just so that I can get better in tune with what I'm using and what I'm liking. So that was actually a really good goal. Um, so I did do just that. I did designate a drawer in my desk just for empties because I used to be so bad at the minute something was like empty, I would immediately recycle it or immediately throw it out. And then I wouldn't be able to talk about empties because I would kind of like as soon as I got rid of it, I would forget about it. So that was a me thing and I really wanted to work more on that. So I actually do now have an empties playlist. I'll throw that up in the cards if you do want to check it out. But it really did help me realize like what am I going through more often than other products? What am I actually reaching for? What do I like? What do I not like? So I think that entire series along with my bite-sized review series where I try out some more sample size products, those two have really helped me refine and define my makeup tastes. And so that was actually a really awesome goal for 2018. I think if anything that's the most um, like enlightening goal that I had because I learned a hell of a lot just by keeping track of my empties and what samples that I liked and didn't like. So that is my beauty slash channel bucket list for 2018. If you have a beauty bucket list video or you have anything that you want to work on in 2018, please link it or let me know down below. I would love to hear from other people. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope I'll see you in one of my other videos. Bye. Oh, that's not my right Twitter handle. <laughs> So th those are all of my beauty goals for 2018. That was really fun to look back on. And I think it was really good to set like some kind of long-term goals to kind of structure my year around. So I really want to do this again for 2019. I'll probably have it up sometime in mid-January because I already have videos planned up until like the second week of January. So if you have any goals for 2019, beauty, life, channel related, throw them in the comments. I would love to talk more about some goals and some resolutions that you guys might have. Thank you so much for watching this flashback video with me. I hope you liked it and if you want me to react some more to like my older videos, let me know too because this was really enlightening and I had a lot of fun doing it. Thank you again for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!